Let me show you some of my favorite baits that I use here for peacock bass in the Amazon. This is a, a wood chopper imitation. It's made by a friend of mine, Charles Hammontree from uh, Tennessee, Caribe Lures. It's called a Pavon Prop. Creates a heck of a commotion when it's stripped along the surface. Throws up a lot of water. The peacocks explode on this. Boom! It's got to be one of the best top water lures in the world. This is a saltwater skitter popper by Rapala. It doesn't bloop and pop as much as it spits water in front of it and it throws water about, about six foot in front of it. And it's more subtle than the wood chopper. So when they're being finicky and they're not beating the heck out of these top surface lures, use one of these, it's more subtle, it's more gentle, and they'll explode on it. Wham! Great lure. And this is a saltwater spook. Great subtle lure for when not a lot else is working on the top. You want a bit a quieter approach when it's really calm, no wind, mirror glass image on the water, and it's walk the dog style. can produce some fantastic explosions. I have caught huge peacocks on this bait. Jenny, how about that? It's a perfect size. It's bait fish size. Look at that. You are the master of this one. Well, you can I've see. I've seen you move this through the water like a pro. And this is one of the best comeback lures I've ever, ever used. This is a Yozuri minnow. If you miss a fish on the surface from either a spook or a wood chopper or a popper, throw this behind, bang, you've got an instant hookup. Great, great follow-up lure. This is a streamer fly, six inch long, lots of flash. Jig fishermen, if you want to catch a ton of fish, you can catch fish from one pound to 25 pounds, which I have done. Look at this, eight inch jig, homemade, bucktail, loads of flash, loads of tinsel, loads of flashy boo. This is, for me, the number one killer lure, and I think you'll vouch for that. This is it's the my best favorite lure. as well. Whew. Lucky we got him. We've been catching three species of peacocks here this week. Cichlotomensis is the speckled and the three barred peacock. The non breeding form of the tomensis is called a paca and is generally a leaner and darker fish. The paca with its white dots and dashes slowly morph into the three barred asu with spectacularly Great bright fish. spawning colours. The Great current all tackle record tomensis stands at 27 pounds. Such powerhouses. The butterfly or borboleta peacock should not be confused with the butterfly imported into Florida from Guyana. Wow. The Cicla orionocensis is native to the Rio Negro and Orinoco watersheds alone and reaches about 12 pounds. The Papoca or Bhutan peacock is much smaller and is one of the most widely distributed species throughout the warm waters of Brazil and other countries. To me, the Cicla monoculus is the most beautiful of all peacocks and I wish they could get as big as the giant Asu. They max out at about five pounds only.